What's up guys? Engineered here, finally back, better than ever for a long overdue video. And today we're going to talk about Walmart Hyper Tough Tools. Now this video was inspired by a video by Charlie Ott where he talked about these bolt extractors from Walmart. And I'd seen these before and it didn't even really occur to me. Left hand drill bits. And I thought, well, hey, left hand drill bits, why not? I'll go grab some. So that's a really good video, link in the description. But today we're going to talk about Hyper Tough Made in the U.S. tools. This is not one of them. It's not made in the U.S. A few of them are, though. And I saw a good number of them when I walked down the tool aisle. And I thought, y'all have to know about this. So here's one of them, the Hyper Tough Saw 1 and Hyper Tough Saw number 2. That's all I have, but let's go down the aisles and see what we can find. First thing that we'll notice as we make our way down the tool aisle are a few name brands that you'd expect to see made in the U.S. We have a Vaughn brand hammer here. Also got plenty of channel lock wrenches, the Stanley box cutters, and uh, Gator and 3M brand abrasives. But the first Hyper Tough made in the U.S. tool on our list is the yardstick two dollars and 87 cents steel yardstick nothing special about it black powder coating with a uh, white printed on graduations in both inches and uh, centimeters with the smallest being two millimeter increments then we have its big brother the hyper tough framing square this is for six dollars and 88 cents and it is pretty heavy since it's steel also it's pretty heavy when you compare it against other framing squares that are aluminum it's a pretty hefty one now it's got most of the features that you'd expect to see out of a normal framing square um, printed on graduations if you don't like that it's printed on I did see another one at another Walmart the Stanley one with pressed in graduations but for a little bit more, $6.94, it seemed to have a lot less features on there. However, it was pressed in graduations, so they should last a lot longer than printed graduations. And it looks like just a clear coat over the steel. Number three on the Hyper Tough Made in the US list is the Speed Square, or as they call the Poly Rafter Angle Square. For three dollars and forty seven cents this is uh, what looks to be a high impact polystyrene speed square very similar to ones that you'd find by Empire and Swanson um, nothing special about it then we have the combination square four dollars and ninety six cents this one was pretty interesting to me because it does not resemble any combination square already on the market that's made by another company and made in the US. It does have pressed in increments, that pressed and filled in increments that they look relatively precise. Um, so no complaints there just from what I can tell. Now the body does seem to be maybe nylon or something similar. Does not look like it's glass reinforced but uh, best I can tell it's nylon or a similar plastic. Then next up on the list is the post and pipe level. Once again very similar to uh, Empire uh, poly post and pipe level. Looks like high impact polystyrene again. Nothing too fancy about it just very simple looks pretty pretty decent this is four dollars and forty seven cents then we have the hyper tough 15 inch handsaw this is the handsaw that I have and it's really not bad it is not bad it'd be interesting to see who actually makes it um, I wouldn't be surprised if it is Stanley um, or at least Stanley Black and Decker or whoever makes their US made components but um, that's not a bad saw also you've got the miter box and back saw for 988 but that's the same as any other 
However, hidden in the screwdriver area, we have these cool little pocket screwdrivers for $2.77. Um, I would say these are made by Western Forge, but actually can't guarantee that because it says assembled in the U.S. instead of just made in the U.S. So, then next up, we have these pry bars. The pry bars that caught my attention and said, whoa, hold on a minute. Yes, made in the USA, pry bars in Walmart under a hyper tough brand. We have the 8 inch, which is $6.84. And um, it's got that steel cap at the end for beating on. You've got a 12 inch for $7.84 and then a 25 inch for $8.84. If these turn out to be any good, then that's a fantastic buy for a Made in the U.S. tool. Now before I go into honorable mentions, one dishonorable mention is that I'm a little disappointed that Walmart does not stock the U.S. made Stanley measuring tapes. Now honorable mentions number one and two are these small tackle boxes, uh, the little organizers that you see made by Flambeau and the similar one by Plano. These are perfect for storing small parts and tools and keeping your garage workspace organized. And also the Flambeau one has a vapor corrosion inhibitor which helps keep them rust free. And last but not least are these little aluminum mini loafs, perfect for small parts, cleaning and painting. Okay guys, well this was just a quick video to show you what I found. Thanks for sticking with me. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Next up, I want to take most of these tools that I saw in Walmart. I want to go buy them, and we can put them up up against some of their uh, competitors here. I have a Husky US-made saw. Also, we can get that framing square, put it up against uh, some good quality ones, just to see what they're like in comparison, see if they're worth buying. Thanks for watching, guys. Coming up soon, I'm going to be showing you a couple of tool hacks you can do with your own tools that you already have. We're going to take a look at some industrial quality tools and compare them against entry-level consumer quality tools. And I'm going to be sharing as much knowledge and information as I can with you that's going to help you in your DIY projects. So if you learned something, be sure to like and subscribe. Engineered out.